Say anything is awesome. Good morning, Internet. Today is September 1st, also Who Day, or Dr. Who Day, or whatever it's being called. Today is the debut of Asylum of the Daleks, which is the new episode of Doctor Who, which is the first in the new series, which is amazing and I can't wait, but I have to because it's the wee hours of the morning on September 1st and it's not September 1st evening, and so I haven't seen it and so I can't talk about that. So instead of talking about that today, I am going to talk about a game that I played recently called Say Anything. This is what Say Anything looks like, and the way you play it basically is by asking everyone else that you're playing with a question that from a card that you draw. And the card has things like, you know, what, in my opinion, is the greatest 80s band. And it's really, really cool if you play with people that you don't know very well, or don't know you very well, or there are people in the group that don't know each other that well, because it becomes this microcosm of how relationships work. For instance, if the question is, in my opinion, what does the world need more of, and all you really know about me is that I'm kind of geeky, you might be inclined to say something like more good authors or more good books, and you've put me in this like little box of literature fan. But if you knew me a little better, you would know that I have a really ridiculous sense of humor, and I would definitely pick a, an answer like tacos over something, you know, serious and grave, like more authors that are actually good at what they're doing and don't suck and write things like Fifty Shades of Grey. And it's really cool because as you progress through the game with people that you don't know that well or don't know you, everyone has to imagine each other complexly to stay afloat. You start to get more interesting answers, answers that reflect a complex understanding of you or the other people around you. And in my experience, that's exactly how friendships and relationships are built. You start with big general ideas about people and assumptions, like that person is cool, or that person is a geek, or that person might molest me if I were drunk, and you grow from there. And you realize that some of the things that you thought are true or plausible, and some of the things that you thought are just totally off base. And my hope is that people who are friends with me realize eventually that I can be a huge fan of literature and also have kind of a weird taco-centric sense of humor, and those things coexist. It's like the danger of musical taste. You can assume that a person who likes The Who isn't going to like Dead Mouse, isn't going to like weird, like, glitch hop stuff, but that's not necessarily the case. Those things aren't mutually exclusive. You know, you can like Newfound Glory and Bob Dylan. I don't understand how, but you can. I'm sure there are people out there who love both. And so Say Anything becomes this exercise in imagining other people complexly. And it's smushed into a very small space of time that you're playing this game. And you might not even be conscious of what's happening, but you are starting to imagine the people around you more complex. And there are very few things in the world of interpersonal relationships that are more important than imagining others complexly. So, good job, Say Anything. Alright, so that's pretty much it for today. Um, Say Anything is awesome. I'll put a link in the doobly-doo to... Uh, the Geek and Sundry channel where you can watch Tabletop, which is the show that inspired me to buy the new board games that I bought. And you should find a copy of Say Anything. It's um, I bought it at Target. Uh, you can probably find it at Walmart, maybe. You can find it at, you know, a comic book store, gaming kind of place. Um, but you should buy it, and you should play it with your friends, your close friends, and you should play it with people who don't know you that well, and you should, like, mix your friend groups together and see what happens, because it's gonna be interesting, I promise. And you should always endeavor to imagine people complexly, even if you're not playing a board game. And you should watch the new episode of Doctor Who tonight, because I'm going to, and you want to do everything that I do, right? Yeah, I thought so. I'll see you later.